I don't know when the last time is you went out with a cup of coffee on the deck of your brand new stock you just bought. Hey everyone, Kevin A. Malsh, Pine Financial Group, where we work together so you succeed. Hey, you found us here on Facebook, you found us here on YouTube, please hit like, hit subscribe, and leave us some comments below. The last time I shot a video about why real estate is such a better investment than stocks, I got some comments, I love it. So please leave your comments below and let me know what you think. So I wanna talk about five more reasons why I believe real estate investments is a far superior investment than stocks. So if you haven't checked out my first five reasons, please go to that video and check that out. These are five additional reasons, starting with finding value. Now look, I know you can find good value in stocks, and I know people do it all the time. For me personally, I'm not good at that. I'm much better at finding good buys, good values, discounted properties in real estate. I think I can locate those easier. You find a situation where a seller's a bit more motivated or there's 1031 exchange involved, some reason that there has to be a liquidation event and the seller's willing to discount the property to accomplish that. So I just find it easier to find value in real estate than I do in stock investing. Real estate is finite, that's my second of the second five. So I guess that would be number seven. Real estate is finite and it's a real asset. You can go out and touch it and that gives me some comfort. But finite simply means there's a limited amount of it. Look, there's only so much land. I did just recently take a trip out to Lake Powell and I discovered a whole lot of land that's still buildable through Utah and Arizona and that. But real estate land and real estate properties is finite. It cannot last forever. And as you get closer into a major metropolitan area, values will go up because there's a need for it and there's no more supply. So finite is my number two, number seven reason why I like real estate over stock investing. The third reason is real estate can be improved. Now we talked in the last video about appreciation and how I like appreciation in real estate more than I like appreciation in the stock market, although that's controversial, of course. But one thing that is not controversial, I don't believe, you'll let me know below, is that I could force appreciation in real estate unlike what you can do in the stock market. For example, if I buy a property that needs a total remodel or has some type of problem, like maybe a foundation or something like that, and I can go in there and fix that problem, the value of the property is going to go up. And there's certain improvements that is more than a dollar for dollar return. So let's say you're gonna remodel a kitchen and you put $10,000 in the kitchen. Chances are something like a kitchen, you're gonna get a higher return on the value than the 10,000. So you're increasing the value more than you're putting money into it. You cannot do that with stock investing. Another way you can force appreciation is through offering to sell the property with terms, making it easier for a buyer to buy the property from you increases your pool of buyers, which increases the value of the home. So maybe I shouldn't say improved as my number three, maybe it's forced appreciation, but let's leave it as improved. You can't improve stocks, guys. The next one is you can enjoy real estate. I don't know when the last time is you went out with a cup of coffee on the deck of your brand new stock you just bought. We just ended up buying a property in Dillon, Colorado. It's going to be a second home, but we may end up Airbnb in it. Either case, it is going to appreciate in value over time. We did get a good value. We are forcing some appreciation with the improvements, and I could take my coffee out on the deck and enjoy the mountains. Can't do that with stocks. And my final reason, number five, is leverage. You can leverage stocks. I understand there's margin accounts and things like that, but nothing compares to how easy it is to leverage real estate. I mean, there's videos on this channel showing you how to buy real estate with no money down at all, but let's just take a real simple example. And I wrote this down right before I shot the video. Hopefully you guys can see that. I don't know if that's gonna work or not, but let's take a real simple example of a $100,000 house. If it appreciates at a 10% rate, that's gonna be an increase in value of $10,000 on that $100,000 house. And that might be over a couple of years or however long it takes to appreciate the 10%. But just bear with me here and keep the math nice and simple. So you make 10 grand on 10% appreciation. 
Well, if you leveraged into that with a 20% down payment, which is $20,000, to calculate your return on that appreciation, you would take your gain, $10,000, divide it by your investment, $20,000, and you'll see that you have a 50% gain. 50% gain on a 10% appreciation in a stock portfolio with no margins, a 10% appreciation is a 10% return. With margins, that will increase a little bit, but I'm not seeing any 80% loan-to-value loans on stock investing. So my fifth and final reason for today and 10th overall reason I think real estate is a far superior investment to stocks is leverage. Hope you liked the video. I hope you hit subscribe. I hope you hit like, and I hope you leave some comments below. Check us out, pinefinancialgroup.com.